Hi, this is Elena from Elena Lee Photography. Today I'm going to share with you how I add digital wings to my portrait images. Today we're going to be working with this gorgeous image from Adobe Stock. I just love the red and green tones in this and the fox is pretty cute too. To get started, we are going to select our digital wings from our folder on our computer. To do that, we're going to go to File, Place Embedded, navigate to the folder where you store your digital assets. I'm going to select these lovely little dragonfly wings here, and we're going to just hit Place. From there, we can see that we have our dragonfly wing overlays over our image, and we can resize and shape those however we like. If you want to change the size, you can just hit um, shift and then drag your handlebars and that will ensure that the ratio of the wings stays the same and they don't get skewed. In this situation, I noticed that our subject is sitting on a little bit of an angle. So we just want to line our wings up. We're going to use our transformation tool so that we can adjust the perspective. Under Edit, Transform, Perspective, we can grab these handlebars and we can skew our per perspective to whoever we like so that they match with our model in our photo. So I like that, it looks pretty good. We might do some little adjustments uh, later, but we're going to see how that looks. So in order to um, save that adjustment, we're just going to press enter on our keyboard. You'll notice that you get this little icon in the corner of your layer. That indicates that this is a smart object. When you drag your assets into Photoshop using the place and embed, they'll automatically convert them to a smart object for you. And this is really important because it'll save your pixel quality and make your adjustments uh, in, a, in a fashion that's not going to lose quality in the final image. Next, I think we're going to just maybe go back in and adjust our perspective a little bit more. So I'm going to put Press Control and T or Command T on a Mac. And this time I'm going to go under Transform and I'm gonna select Skew this time. And that kind of lets you play around a little bit more with the angle of the wings here so that we can get them to match what's happening in our photo. Again, we're going to press Enter and that looks pretty good. Maybe we're going to increase our size of the overall wings just a little. Something like that. There you, there you go. Okay, now I want to make the wings disappear behind the body of the subject because they would be naturally attached to her back. To do this easily, uh, we can create a layer mask. We could take our time and actually select our subject and do a really detailed uh, extraction of her from the background and then place our wings as a layer behind that. However, in this situation, it's a fairly simple image. Um, we're not dealing with a lot of hair or anything that is going to be in front of the wings. So I'm simply going to place a layer mask. You can do that either by selecting the layer mask button here or going up to your menu, selecting layer, layer mask and reveal all. With your layer mask, we are going to select our black brush. That's going to ensure we're going to hide anything that we brush on our layer. I've got my brush set to 100% flow and we're just going to brush it quickly off the areas we don't want the wings to show. I usually just do a really quick brush across the main areas of the photo, and then you can zoom in if you like. Okay. 
either using your keyboard shortcuts or your menu. And we'll just go around and brush the wings off of the areas where we don't want them to show. We'll come back and we'll get those areas of the, the hair later. A little bit around the fox's ear here. Such a cute little guy. Now we'll just make our brush a little smaller and we're just going to quickly remove it from the areas there where the hair was going on top of it. That looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom back out. There we go. And I love that. There are other ways you can adjust your wings in the, in the image. One of them is by adjusting your color. We can do this by adding a hue and saturation mask. Just click this little button here in your adjustments panel. And if we want this to only apply to our wings, we just click this little shortcut button here, which is uh, create a clipping mask. You can also do that by right clicking and selecting create clipping mask from the menu. If you want, you can adjust all of the colors of the wings by adjusting your slider, any color you wish. Or you can select specific color tones. Maybe we just want to select the greens and bring in some of those reds from her hair and the fox into some of the areas in the wings. That looks good there. You can also adjust the opacity of your hue and saturation adjustment until you get something that you like. I don't mind it at 100% there, so I think we'll leave it like that. I like to keep my workflow nice and tidy over here, so I'm going to group my wing layer. We'll just call it wings. And there you have it. In a few easy steps, we've added some magical dragonfly wings to our portrait image. We went from here to here. You can find these dragonfly wings as well as many other premium digital assets in my online store at alanaleephoto.com. Thanks for watching.